Why are watermelons round? And you say, Rowan, they've always been round since the beginning of time. They're supposed to be round. That's the way God created them. But if you think about a round watermelon, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're a farmer, you're traveling to market, they're rolling around in the back of your truck. It's like a football. You know, if you, if you buy one, you put it in the back of the car, it rolls around in the, in the trunk of your car. You put it in the refrigerator, you open the door, it rolls out and it hits you on the foot. It rolls across the kitchen. You put it on the table, you try to slice it, and it's rolling around the table. But if you had a square watermelon, think about all the advantages. As a farmer, I can stack them. You know, I can fit them neatly into the shopping basket in the back of the car. I can fit them neatly into the refrigerator. And if I put it on the table and slice it, it's not going to move. Plus, it makes a beautiful opening story at the dinner party. That's why this thing is a popular fashion food today in Japan. This is not trick photography, this is real. And the real story here is that those Japanese farmers can charge you a premium for a square watermelon as opposed to a round one. So they can actually ask you more money just for the different shape. Here's the question. How do you create a square watermelon? Do you have to go in and change the genetic code so that it grows? How do you do it? You grow it in a box. It sounds so obvious now, looking back, doesn't it? But how many of us would have challenged the orthodoxy that a watermelon doesn't have to be round? 